What is going on YouTube? My name is Drunken Infernape, and welcome to episode number 22 of the Pokemon Black 2 Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it through, I believe it was Route 13, and we kind of struggled because the levels in some Pokemon began to spike. But now, we are here, and we're going to be catching fucking Cobalion. If you guys do enjoy this kind of content, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and also answer the question of the down in the comments down in the comment section down below which is who is your favorite starter mon mine is obviously this cutie right here i love jim char and uh in today's episode we're going to be catching this cobalion now if you guys don't know i randomized the game so that all legendaries are randomized to other legendaries um so this cobalion is 100 percent gonna be a legendary which, in my opinion, it's going to be fucking great. <laughs> because that means that we're going to get a guaranteed legendary encounter right now. And that's beautiful. So I think we're just going to begin right now and just interact with this thing. Now, I really don't care how many balls I have. Because I'm most likely going to end up just masterballing the fuck out of it, whatever it is. Unless it's like an Azelf. But uh, I have enough balls, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to switch... Asparagus into the front of the PC so that we can have a very amazing sleep pattern mon in. But let us attack with this Cobalion and see what it is. Wait! I think that's Mewtwo. It's a holo! We just got a holo! Fuck it, I'm mashballing this shit. Level 45! Level 45 ho -ho. Oh my god! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god! That's a reference to an older episode that uh, hopefully my friends watching will get. We just got a fucking ho -ho. Woke! ho -ho. What am I gonna name this ho -ho? Um, hmm, you know what, I'm gonna name it something that I never name my ho -Ho's. I never really have ho -Ho, like, ever, so I don't really name them anything, but in its, oh, no, I didn't know, in its, uh, Pokedex entry, it states that it contains all seven colors, so we're gonna be naming this ho, -Ho Spectrum, Spectrum the ho I like that name, that is, was fu- A uh, ho-ho? I thought it was a fucking Mewtwo! Holy- What are you? Are you better than a ho-ho? It's Ryan! You don't know who Ryan is. It's King- It's Corfish. It's a Corfish. Wait. Oh shit! Hi there, Dylan. What up, dog? <laughs> hee hee. I used fly- Yeah, whatever. Thanks for your help in reverse the mountain. If you go straight past Lacunosa Town, you'll reach Opelucid City. Yes, so I knew we're going. To, we're not going to Opelucid yet. We're going to Lacunosa first. But before you go, there's something I want you. I want you two to hear. What is it? Oh God! Dialogue. You'll know soon enough. Hurry now. We have a lot of dialogue to read, guys. Exhilarating content. You must be the ones who want to hear that old tale about Lacunosa Town. That's right. Please tell us. I don't have water. Where did my water go? Is that my water up here? Fuck. No, it's empty. Fucking shit! I don't have water. Alright, my dearies. Please come in. I was an old lady talking. I thought it was Juniper talking. I thought it was Bianca, actually. <clears throat> Behind the Lacunosa down, there's a mighty big hole. That's what she said. You might have heard of the giant chasm. Oh, I've heard of that around the giant. I've heard that around the giant chasm. There have been brief temperature readings of negative fifty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. Mad cold. That's what Sharon told me anyway. Sharon is a fucking idiot. The road is blocked, so we can't get there right now. A long, long time ago, the giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that meteorite. A meteorite? 
Deoxys. What if my Kyurem is a Deoxys? <laughs> what if my Kyurem is a fucking Deoxys? When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid follow, a frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around and eats people and Pokemon. What? It eats people. Hell no. I'm I'm really thinking of just taking this thing off, but it just doesn't look as good. I'm gonna keep it on. Hey, phone, you wanna not go off? Thanks for that shit, dog. That's why everyone was afraid. The Pokemon ate. Spit it out, people. So our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Whoa. That's actually pretty dark. Kurem eating people? For a Pokemon game, that's kind of fucking dark. Jesus. Also, a rule was made for forbidding... I've never heard of that word. Forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. And that's the end of the old tale. A fascinating story. It'll. I'll add it to my research records. Everyone, we should be going. Bye-bye. I'm out. Dialogue, my favorite. Wasn't that an interesting folktale? The Pokemon story to any may be unknown, but the power mentioned in the story is incredible. I know. The power to freeze everything around it could even rival the power of the legendary dragon-type Pokemon. Yes, Bianca. It's almost like Zekrom, who, sh who scorched you know with intense lightning long ago. Because we're black, too. It would. I'm pretty sure in white, too, it says, like Reshiram, who would have scorched the earth with fire. I think that's the dialogue is the same. By the way, do you remember the story of Zekrom? You bet. I was told a little bit. I was told a little bit. I would. Oh my god. I told you a little about it in Lensmas Town, remember? Zekrom is a legendary dragon type Pokemon that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero. Pursuing ideals. It has a black. Fuck, I read it wrong. It has a black body and it can use. Unleash fearsome lightning. Bianca. Oh, fuck. Can't read! Professor, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon from the old story and legendary dragon-type Pokemon Zekrom and Reshiram? Definitely. 100%. It's black too. It's a Kirim, Kirim Black. Kirim Black and Kirim White. The Meteorite. The Meteorite? Zekrom was, re was revived from a rock called the Dark Stone. Let's suppose the Meteorite from the story and this stone are the one and the same. Take into account the element that elements from the same era were found in the Dragon Spiral Tower where Zekrom was, and in the Giant Chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a piece of the puzzle. Let's not write it off as a coincidence just yet. If your theories are true, GAME THEORY! Thanks for watching! I needed to do it. I'm so sorry, I needed to do it. It should be a really strong Pokemon. What kind of reason would there be for it to come out only at night? Like, if, like, it doesn't like sunlight or something like that? It is a nice type. Why is it like that? Maybe because it's like... Maybe because it glows. And people would just like be like... They'd see it and they'd be like... And they'd just die instantly. I don't know. Reasons. Maybe it's nocturnal. Until we look into it more deeply, it could be hard to say anything about it. Now that we think about it, the name of Lacunosa could be derived from... Lacuno... Lacunosa's clouds. Which are clouds that resemble a net or a fence. Wow, she just fucking dropped a math bomb, math, a fucking fact bomb on us, just, where am I, she fucking, I bet, she read off a fucking <coughs> Snapple fact, <laughs> ah, shit, fuck, that hurt my finger, <laughs> I'm an idiot, I'm a real idiot, I wonder if the name is related to the part of the story where they built walls to protect the town from that Pokemon, so then what was this town called before it was named Lacunosa? Was it named something different? No, I don't know. Sorry, I rambled on a bit, didn't I? Dylan, could you ask Drayden about this if you get the chance? I'm going to go a little bit of fieldwork. Bianca, help out, okay? Sure thing. Yeah, we're good. All right, bye. Okay, let's go check out this ho -Oh. Bro, are we going to add this thing to the team? I want to add it to the team. I really want to add Toto to the team. No, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Because we already have a flying type. Look at this box. Look at Beverly. That's early bird with an orange berry. It has flash fire. And it's holding it. It has fire blast! Oh, 
Do I do it? Do I get rid of Cerberus for this hobo? Yes. Bye bye Cerberus. I'm really sorry, but uh, it's a hobo. It's a, it's literally a fucking hobo. It that's a meme. Is that a ho ho? It's a meme. It's I'm pretty sure it's a meme. I think I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good with memes. I only know like the the Logan Paul ones. Ah, oh, we're broke. Well, we're not broke, but we can't buy it. I mean, we can sell something. Hold up. Wait, no. Wait, wait, no. I don't want to buy anything. Wait, I want to sell. Thank you. All right, let's sell our normal gems, our poison gems, all three of them. Let's sell our power racer, our rose incense. Let's sell the nugget that we have. No leaf stone nugget. Oh, uh, we can sell. That's it. We're not selling anything else. So there we go. Ho -O has been. Uh oh, that's a battle with our rival, I think. But bro, we have a fucking ho. Hold up. Nah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this ho? -O? We have a. I am literally just coming to realization. We have a goddamn ho -O on our team. Of course it has a bold nature which drops its attack stat. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it have a... Why couldn't it be like modest or adamant or anything like that? What's up? Have you seen the plasma anywhere around here? I had a rumor that effect. What is this music? I'm gonna stop. Oh, for crying out loud. This is troublesome indeed. My my curious trainers. Perhaps I could sat satiate your, car your curiosity somewhat. The reason I am so part of the Team Plasma is I want to know how the word will change. Listen, Pokemon or nature, Pokeballs or civilization, humans who, use civil who are used to civilization do not relinquish it easily. Of course, both nature and, and civilization are important. But what will happen to the world? I've taken over Team Plasma. I'm gonna stop. People will be forced to throw out Pokeballs. A product of civilization. I want to know. Oh my god, I'm, I turned Scottish for a second. I want to know what that looks like. And I want to enjoy it. Yeah, I don't think so. Shut your mouth! Do it! Yeah! Fuck him up, Victor! Fuck him up! All I want is to get back a stolen Pokemon. Dylan, give me a hand. You ready? Bet! Just let you know. We're about to, you're about to feel my rage! What does it mean if I'm ready if I can just walk away? Like what? This music though. All ugly ass 30 FPS. Rampardos and Rampar- 42! They're level 40 fucking 2? That's doing nothing, Firo. That's literally doing nothing. Of course I missed fucking Razor Leaf on one of them. Of course I missed it on the level 42 one. Oh no. Ancient power. Bro. Oh my god, my Pokemon are so weak. What is that gonna do? A good chunk, but we can live another one, I think. I'm gonna raise the leaf again. Assurance. Why are you going for assurance? Stop it! Rush skin again. Whatever. Raise your leaf. Do we hit both of them this time? Come on. Yes! Can we switch out? I think we can. Good, they're both dead. That level 42 was scary. Alright. Bastiodon. What's up with all the fossils, bro? And a Butterfree? Um, that's kind of scary, actually. I might switch out. I'm going into Pika Blue for this. Because <laughs> they can't really do anything to Pika Blue. Assurance, Bug Buzz, Ancient Power. Okay. That's the Fero. It's not my Mon. I'm going for a Surf. 
Victor used a hyper potion. Nice one, Victor. Good job. That Vutter Freeze level 40 fucking 4. Jesus fuck. Level 44. Okay, he went out. He went. He didn't go for me. It has water absorb. Of course it has water absorb. Optimus, I think this is your time to shine, bro. Optimus, this is your time to shine, bro. Magnitude! Come on. You got this. Firo's dead. I don't give a shit. It's not my Firo. That's his Firo. I don't have a Firo. Really? Cool. Thanks. That's nice. Nice Pokemon you got there. Rage Powder? What does that do? Retention? Doesn't matter. That's a spread move. Why is Garchomp Sprite so weird in this game? Why am I getting only Magnitude 4? Can you not? Optimus is going to evolve. Optimus is going to evolve right now. Alright, we're going to leave... He used Bug Balls on the Garchomp. We're eating that up. We didn't even get attacked. And we kill the Butterfree. And Optimus is evolving. This is just an amazing episode. This episode is going great. I love it. I'm, I'm really happy with the way this episode is turning out. Hold up. I forgot to timestamp the ho -Oh. God fuck. God damn it. I didn't timestamp the ho -Oh. I'm an idiot. Ho-Oh. Asparagus was level 44. And we defeat Team Plasma members. And we're good. So, boom! And here we go, we got an evolution! Yes! Optimus is evolving. Hold up, let me timestamp this shit. Go work. Done. Optimus is evolving. Here we go. I'm gonna be quiet. Boom! That's a goal lurk right there! Look at that! Look at that power! Heavy slam? Bro, give him that shit. You're in a curse. I actually know. You're in a curse? We're never using curse. I haven't used curse now. I'm not gonna use it later. I'm not centered, am I? I am not centered. Now I'm centered. I forgot curse and I learned heavy slam. Okay. I don't want heavy slam. I want earthquake! Ugh, what's with the use of these two? I'm battling alongside Zinzolin. This shouldn't be happening. These Pokemon trainers remind me of... I'm changing the accent a million. You know what? Fuck it. It's Russian. These trainers remind me of that one from two years ago. More important, we must continue our research. Like that scientist said, it might be an Opelucid city. We'll play with you again later. Bro. Get back here! Fuck him up, Victor. Fuck him up, bro. But that was kind of a wild battle. We got a go lurk. Um, we're 18 minutes in. I don't want to end it off yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to end off this episode by getting a Route 12 encounter. So let's get ourselves... Wait, 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 wait. I almost didn't lead with... Oh, no, I am leading with Asparagus. Never mind, I lied. Haxorus! What up, dog? How you living? We might even add this thing to the team. We might add this thing to the team. Like, I'm being 100% serious. I might add this thing to the team. How much is this doing? Like, nothing. Ridge Leaf again. I'm gonna go for a takedown. He woke up. Um, that's a bit scary. But, uh, we're good. Sleep Powder again. I don't have a lot of Pokeballs. Don't kill it! Okay, we are we are definitely healing up right now. This turn, we're hyper potioning up right now. He's still fast asleep. Okay, can we please catch this Haxorus in this ball, please, please? My hand dropped the controller. Come on. One, two, three. Ah! Oh God. 
That's really scary. He's plus two right now. Taunt? Oh no. Come on. Please, just get in the ball. Just get in the ball. Come on. Please get in the ball. Please get in the ball. One. Two. Three. Yes! That's how you catch a Pokemon! Wait. Didn't we have an Axew? Fuck it. There's a Haxorus, bro. The Axe Jaw Pokemon. Its tusks are incredibly destructive. They can easily slice through a thick, sturdy steel column every time. Lit! What do we name? We need to name this guy something badass. Fucking. Hmm. What do we name him? Taser Face. <laughs> From fucking Guardians 2. Um. We can name him. Uh, what do I name him? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna name him Grim. Because, like, he has, like, sides on his mouth. If he was the shiny one you get at the end of the game, maybe. But, nah, it's not so. Fuck it, we got Grim. Bro. That's what I call an encounter. Are we switching? We switching the whole team up today, aren't we? Alright, I might actually get rid of him on for Haxorus right now. I might actually get rid of him on for Haxorus because, like... That's a fucking Haxorus right there. So what's our team looking like right now? What are we weak to? We're honestly not weak to much. We're kind of weak to uh, Ghost. We can't really handle Ghost types very well. But if I was to get rid of anyone, it would be E.T. I know he's been on the team for a long time, but mo wait. More importantly, what is this Haxorus' ability? It's Adamant! This thing has to go on the team. This thing has to go on the team. You know what I'll do? I will call my friends at the end of this recording and ask them if I want to add Haxorus. Because I can't ask you guys in the comments because, well, I bulk recorded this series and I can't do that. So, um, that is fucking crazy. Oh my god, this episode was great. This episode, we, we dominated. But, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Put One Black 2 Randomized Nose Lock. And if you did, do not forget to go smash that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon Black 2 content. Other Pokemon content coming very soon. My name is Dragon Fernape, and I'll see every single one of you guys in the next video. Peace!